Hey bosses, it's Mina, and today is going to be all about YouTube. Actually, this series of videos is gonna be about YouTube, but today is gonna to be about YouTube Studio. It's actually in beta right now, but over the next few months, you will start seeing this instead of your old classic YouTube Studio show up when you start editing, uploading, um, adding in cards and looking at your comments for YouTube. So I thought this was a great opportunity to go ahead and show you exactly how it's gonna look once you get in here. As a reminder, I am posting videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm gonna start doing them in series to help you kind of con get the full concept of things. So this week is all about YouTube marketing tips and video marketing tips, so we'll be focusing on YouTube. If you haven't checked out the video I posted um, on converting your YouTube videos to Instagram, go ahead and check the details. Also make sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you're notified anytime I release a new video. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's start with how to access the new YouTube studio um, because that's a big one. So in your top right hand corner, I'm gonna go up to my profile and I'll go down to Creator Studio. Just a quick side note because a couple people have asked this. I do have my dark theme on. That's what makes my YouTube black. That's a feature that you'll find also in this menu. All right, let's go ahead and head over to Creator Studio. And so when you first head over to Creator Studio, you're gonna see the old studio, right? And so all of your stats are here and these are some things that are similar that you'll see in the new studio, but in order to try it, since it is in beta, you're gonna click on YouTube Studio Beta. Again, over the next couple months, YouTube will be transferring everyone over to the new studio. So it's good. It's a good thing if you jump in early. Now, in here, you'll see some of your stats, just overall that you'll probably wanna see immediately. So this is your dashboard. So in the top right-hand corner, I'll see how many viewers and current subs, how many I got in the last 28 days, which is a standard for YouTube. Anytime you look at your stats, whether it's on the studio online or in the app, which I suggest you download because it's amazing, but they always revert to the last 28 days. So I can see my current subscribers, how many joined, um, if my watch time is up or down, if my views are up and down, and also my revenue and my top videos there. So as we dive deeper into the menu, you'll see a few things that are catered towards you. So first, it's gonna be your most recently uploaded video and all of the stats. You can actually go directly into that video analytics and any comments um, that you've actually received on that video. In addition, it's all of the news. I actually looked at this. This is actually, if once you get in here, I would suggest you look at this video because it affects you as a content creator. But any news, not just from um, YouTube, but overall, just what actually impacts creators or content creators. So the next item here is ideas for you. This is really good because YouTube actually has a creator's academy. And what they do is they connect you with the different topics and tutorials that they think you need where you are. So if you're, for instance, I'm at a little over 7,000 followers. So they're suggesting I've, I actually focus more on equipment, um, doing some production, editing and sound, which is really what I'm focusing on now is upgrading kind of my studio. So it gives you very customized suggestions there. All right, as you're going through, keep in mind that whatever you're clicked on is going to determine what you're gonna see in this menu. So right now, where it says dashboard videos, this is all your overall channel, right? So if I search, it's your overall channel. If I go into videos and actually click on a video, it will give me a specific menu. Before I do that, I wanna bring up a couple of things. So at the top, I use TubeBuddy, the link is below, so you can try it for free, and actually, not try it for free, it actually has, the tools are free, and you can upgrade. But TubeBuddy has helped my channel just grow and I use this daily. So I love that TubeBuddy, if you use TubeBuddy, it's actually in here and you'll start seeing as you hover over that the TubeBuddy menu is here. Shout out to my YouTube side hustlers because they're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about and how useful this is. 
Okay, as we're going on here, you also see that you have uploads and you have live. So if you do live videos, those will be there. As you're going down, you can actually quickly edit. I'm just gonna go ahead and click here. Quickly edit certain things like the title, um, share your link, um, any promotions, download, etc. But what I really wanna do is go directly into a video. And actually, I'm gonna use the search at the top and I'm gonna look for Instagram. This is going to search only my videos. It gives me 22 videos that I can go through, but I'm gonna go ahead and show all of them. I'm sorry, it tells me that there's a total of 22, but it only shows me a few. So I clicked on um, show all to see all of my videos. And so we're gonna go to one, I wanna show one that has a dynamic, um, like a range of details. Let's look at this one. So in this case, I'm actually going to click on the video. Notice that the menu on your left has changed. So all of the features that are available here in this new YouTube studio are gonna be here. If there are any features that they haven't converted yet, you'll go down to other features and you'll see that some of those are at the bottom here. All right, they're moving over things um, fairly quickly. This new platform allows them to actually release items quickly. And one thing I did miss on the dashboard is if they are having any issues or system-wide issues or bugs, they'll actually show you on your desktop as well, um, the dashboard as well. All right, so we are in this video. It's giving us a specific menu. Let's start with our details. Under basic, this is some of the basic information like your title, your description, your monetization, all of those things. Again, what I love is all of my TubeBuddy features like how I'm ranking for this video is showing up here. My checklist for what I need to do is here and um, additional suggestions for tags. Again, these are all TubeBuddy features, but it's integrated into this new studio. Um, at the top here, you'll also see the tool, the toolbar for TubeBuddy, so keep that in mind. All of your advanced features, such as your categories, if you have captions on, any additional um, items that you normally set. I usually set these once and every video just already has the, these details in there. And then also your thumbnail. So usually you have the generated, auto-generated thumbnails that come from your video. You can also just select your image or replace your custom thumbnail here. All right, keep in mind that you are gonna want to save your changes as you go along. My absolute favorite part, I mean like my favorite part, are the new analytics. And what I do like is, um, as a YouTuber that's growing her channel, I have a very small channel, and I know some of you are like, small channel, 7,000 followers, yes. You know there's people out there with hundreds of thousands and millions I am um, of viewers. I am a very tiny channel, so these analytics are amazing to me. Um, so, quick note, you'll start seeing some information um, here on how you learn more about each feature. Definitely, definitely watch those. I've been kind of binging out on those. Also, over some of these items, you'll see these tips that tell you exactly what these analytics mean and how you can use them to grow your channel. Now, keep in mind that right now, it's only in English and they will be releasing these features in other languages. I don't know when, they didn't give a date, but keep in mind that um, you can actually hover over to see exactly what this means. So without going into too much detail, I do wanna focus on a few different items here. Um, we actually talked about this this weekend on my video productivity call and with some of my YouTube side hustlers and I'll be doing a course on this in the Pink Boss Academy. So if you're not part of my academy, the link is below and there's a coupon so you can actually get started. But um, some of the things that I really like is the reach viewers. So here I can actually see a few things. So first I can see how much of my traffic is coming from YouTube search and the exact terms that it's coming from. So basically what is actually driving people to my video, I can see external sources. So Google search, Facebook and all of that, how much um, of that is coming from Google search versus Facebook. Um, lately I've had a ton of searches that drive my traffic and then also the different source types. So for instance, Google search, YouTube search, um, suggested videos. These are all great at analytics to tell you 
what's working on your channel, what's not, and they're very clear. It tells you which other videos are referring to your, um, are actually bringing in views for your videos, all of that. It just, it's a great tool. Um, my absolute favorite tool here is the impressions and how they led to watch time. And so each step tells you how many times um, your video shows up in searches, how many times people clicked on it, how long people watched it. This is, an um, like out of all the tools, this tells me what I need to change about my video if I'm not getting enough views. So there's also interested viewers, how many people like it versus they don't like it, how to build an audience. This is actually showing you how you're building your audience, how many subscribers came from this um, video. Keep in mind that all of these analytics are date based. So right now it's going from February, 2017, all the way up to November, 2018. But if I like, I can actually change this and say in the last seven days, how um, many views have I had? Or I can say um, a custom time period below. It's a lot, it's just a lot of information. I've been kind of geeking out on here and also your revenue and all of that. Before I jump out of the analytics, I do want to show you um, that this is updating live. So you can see within the last 60 minutes, how many people are watching your video or the last 48 hours and actually see exactly where they're coming from. Um, this helps when you have new videos and you're trying to determine kind of how it's doing. All right, I'm gonna go down to the editor. Some of the changes in the editor are really cool. I do wanna be honest, I still don't think I'm gonna use the editor except for um, the end card, uh, excuse me, the cards and the end screens. But what I love is before, in order to add end screens, and those are the four little boxes or the boxes that come up at the end of your video, um, and in order to add your cards, which is the little eye that pops up in your top right-hand corner, you had to go through different menus before. Now you'll see that this is my end screen. And then one of these, let me just expand it. These are your elements. Your elements are actually your cards. So I can see when my cards come in. Um, and so you can actually look through here and add your different items all in this area instead of jumping from one space to the other. Um, so the editor, it looks like they're putting a lot of work into this. I can't see, I can't wait to see what they're doing here. I use Camtasia for the most part, um, and there's other external tools that I like better, but this is just a great way, especially if you're a new YouTuber, to just edit in here without buying anything else. You can actually edit the sound and add, um, songs, they have a YouTube um, area where you can pick music. So this is just a great area to kind of jump in. All right, as we're looking on here, we also have our comments. A great way to grow your um, your channel is to actually reply to your comments. These are people who are giving you views. And so I try to, and let me tell you, you guys have been coming at me with the comments. There's a few people that are just on it. Um, and I love it. So keep them coming and I'm trying to respond as quickly as I can. So if I haven't gotten to your, to your, um, comment, know that I will get back to you. But what I love is that you can go through here and see all your comments. You can reply to them. You can like them, heart them. You can also pin, which is a feature people don't know. So, um, there's one lady and I can't remember her name right now, maybe in editing, I'll put it up there, but she found a solution to an issue that I had mentioned and, I can actually um, use. I can actually use her um, comment and pin it to the top. Now I'm. I actually may have lied here because I can do this on my phone. It doesn't look like I can pin to the top here, so I can't. So hopefully that's coming soon. But from my phone on the Studio app, I can actually pin comments to the top, so it's the first thing people see. Lately, I've been pinning my own kind of comments too and questions that I have for people. Anything that's helpful review or spam, YouTube is very good about that, is usually here so you can actually review that. You can also filter through um, or sort your comments there. Any of your transcriptions are here and also your other features. Again, we're not gonna dive into that um, too much, but I wanted to give you an overview so you see exactly what's coming to you. So if you one day jump into YouTube Studio and notice that it's different, just know that it's because they are upgrading it. They really wanna make sure that they can release features to you quickly and on the older platform, they couldn't do that. 
Okay, it's now time for the question of the day. This is something new I'm trying. And if you all answer, then I will continue doing this. If you do not, I will pull it from my videos. So I do wanna know, do you have a YouTube channel and when, what types of videos do you post? So if you do have a YouTube channel, or even if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, um, tell me what types of videos you would like to post, right? So let me know below. Don't include a link to your channel because YouTube will block that and mark it as spam. Anyone who's looking at the description will see your link and they will head over to your channel if it's something that interests them. Otherwise, it's just a tool for me to get to know you a little bit better. All right, don't forget to watch some of these other videos that I have on YouTube and marketing and social media and make sure and subscribe so you can see my next video that is all about more YouTube tips and tricks.